Are you done? Thank you. What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the highly requested and highly awaited, highly awaited, much awaited, what I got my kids for Christmas video. First of all, Merry Christmas to all of you guys out there. You guys are seeing this either on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. This year we got each of our kids four presents. Something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. And then on top of that, Santa also is getting them one present. So all together, each of the kids this year got a total of five presents in this house anyway. I did write Santa a letter and he did respond and let me know that he was going to bring the presents down early for me so that way I could make this video before the kids open their presents. So I'll break it up per child and I'll let you know what's for each of the categories. Let's get started, there's a lot of stuff. As you can see, I have all of them spread out here. The majority of the presents are here, definitely not all of them because some of them are too big to fit on the bed, but I'll get there in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and do this from oldest to youngest, starting with Big Caden. For Big Caden, something to want, we got him a little programmable robot. I will go ahead and link everything that I can find down below so you can check out more about it because this isn't really like a toy review, this is just showing you what I got. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these items, I will have as many as I can linked down below. So this is his something you want. For something he needs, we got him an Adidas jacket and sweatpants set. He's actually been asking for these and it's perfect because he needs them. For his something to wear, we got him Heelys. I do wanna say most of these were purchased online, most of the stuff that we got. So these are light up Heelys. I'm not gonna take them out because I don't even know how to work them, but if you don't know what Heelys are, they're like shoes that have a little wheel at the bottom so you can slide with them and they light up. For his something to read, we got him a secret deco decoder, decoder, I can't talk. It is a book that has a bunch of different things in it. Again, if you guys wanna check it out, I will try to find this and link it down below. So that is Big Caden's four things. Moving on to Lilia, she's actually over here. For her something you want, I actually got her an iPod Touch. It is the pink one. We just got this at the Apple store. And if you guys know anything about Lilia, she's very into um, singing and dancing and she's always taking my phone so that she can listen to songs. And apparently they don't make very many of the other iPods anymore. This was the only one that we could find in store was the Touch, so that's what she got. For her something to wear, we got her a little locket, actually. It has a little L connected to it, and on the back it says, you are loved more than you will ever know. And then on the inside, I'm going to put a picture of me and her, but I still need to do that before I pack this up. For her something to wear, I got her a set of rain boots and a rain jacket. These actually came, well, they came separate, but they're from the same, like, package or whatever, not package. She is super into mermaids now. I got her a mermaid rain jacket and a mermaid rain boots. And for something to read, I got her a Disney princess nighttime stories. She's always asking me to read her a bedtime story and I thought this was perfect because it has a bunch of them all in one spot. Moving on to Tommy. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. So for Tommy, something you want, he asked for some kind of like drone remote RC thing. So this is a drone and a boat in one. Um, this was purchased from Target, I believe. For his something to need, we got him a money safe. A lot of these things are gonna be a little bit, I can't think of what the word is, but all of their presents are something that they want or need and we just put them in the categories that make sense, if that makes any sense, because obviously no child really needs this. But for him, we are considering this his need because he is always losing his money and he has a wallet that he just loves and he puts all of his money into it and then it ends up falling out of it. So we decided to get him this little money safe for him. I thought that was super creative for kids who like to have their stuff in one spot. For his something to wear, we got him again some Heelys. It's the same ones I believe that Big King got, but in his size. So they are light up Heelys. And for his something to read, we got him bedtime stories as well. He always asks for Chris to cuddle with him every single night when he goes to bed. And now he'll have something to read to him while he does it. Who's next? Kyson, I think is next. The main thing that Kyson got is something that he wants that is too, it's not too big to be pictured, but it doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach a picture like this. He got a hoverboard. And if anybody knows anything about Kyson, that kid is an outside child. He lives outside and he was the hardest kid for me to shop for personally. It was one of the last things that I bought because I had the hardest time figuring out what to get him. I wanted to get him something that was for outside because he loves being outside, but something that he didn't already have. That is what we got Kyson for something he wants. For his something you need, we got him Batman rain boots. Kyson is obsessed with Batman and these actually light up. 
If you can't tell, the majority of the kids were in need of some rain boots this season, and they love getting them. For his something to wear, we got him a Batman costume. I honestly don't know how he doesn't have one of these already. And for his something to read, we got him a Batman Lego book, which comes with a little toy Lego. They always see these in the stores and are asking for them, so perfect for him. Next is little Caden. For his something you want, it is back here. I don't know if I'm going to move it, but it is a remote control RC monster truck, and it's not one of those cheap ones that you find in the store. It's one that I'm hoping is going to actually last a long time, and hopefully one that doesn't break after a week either. For his something you need, we got him rain boots as well, and these again light up. He's going to get a kick out of these. Ha, 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 kick. And for his something to read, we also got him one of these Lego books. This one is a ninja one. He has been really into ninjas lately, which will explain his next item for his something to wear. We got him a ninja costume. He actually asked for this specifically and looked it up on my phone to pick the one that he wants. He's definitely one of the hardest to shop for in terms of he knows what he wants. He knows the quality of things more. So he's happy to get anything. He wouldn't be not happy if he didn't get, if he got something that he didn't necessarily want. But for him, it was just easier for him to like pick out what he wanted and I was just gonna buy it so that's what happened with this next in line is Landon for his something you want it is definitely too big to be pictured you guys might have seen this in our vlog from a few days ago it was the massive box that we bought from Toys R Us and I'll go ahead and insert a picture it is a ride on fire truck it is a two-seater it comes with lights and sirens and the whole nine yards and along with it for his something he needs we got him a fire truck rain jacket and fire truck rain boots so he's gonna be all decked out this Christmas and his fire gear. And on top of that, his Uncle Ben is a firefighter and he is gonna love it. For his something to wear, it's also, it's not probably not too big to be put into this video, but I'm just gonna go ahead and insert a picture of it. This was actually the very first Christmas item that I purchased. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that is so up his alley. He can dress up as whatever he wants to be. It has just a whole bunch of different little boy costumes and he loves dressing up and that kind of stuff. So that is his something to wear. And for his something to read, we got him a Star Wars book with the, oh my God. Are you done? Thank you. It comes with, as you can tell, his own little lightsaber, so he's gonna love that. Last but not least is Adeline. There's not too much that a one-year-old can ask for for Christmas, so we were just kind of creative with this. Um, her something you want is definitely way too big to be pictured in this video. We actually got her a mini kitchen. Anytime we drop Landon off at school, she just sits there and plays with the kitchen forever. So we got her her own kitchen. For her something you need, we actually got her this chair back here. It's her own little chair to sit in. Again, this is something that she doesn't really need, but we couldn't think of what else to do for that and we were gonna get it for her anyway, so we're like, throw it into the Christmas pile. For something to wear, you might have seen this in one of our vlogs a few days ago. The vlog title, I told her a secret, and the secret that I told Lilia was what one of Adeline's Christmas presents was. And the big reveal, what was it? Her own little rain boots. <laughs> Lily was so excited to see these and I think Adeline is gonna love them too. I actually wasn't gonna get them. I was like, a one-year-old doesn't need rain boots until I took her outside and all she wants to do is jump in the puddles. So now she can do that without me getting upset with her getting her entire outfit all wet. So hopefully these fit though. That's the only thing. I'm hoping they're not too big. And for something to read, she is oddly obsessed with animals. I mean, I think all kids enjoy animals, but she really, really loves animals. So I got her this like touch, feel, and hear book. You can press it and it barks at you. You can feel all the different feelings that they have on there at all the different animals. So I think she's definitely gonna get a kick out of that. I think that wraps up all the four presents that we got for any for everybody. Now to move on to the Santa gifts. I'll go ahead and start with Lilia because it's right here. Santa actually got Lilia a Polaroid camera. Definitely think she's gonna get a lot of use out of this. Santa was very creative in this picking for her. It's also gonna come with some extra film and I think I want to get her some kind of like bulletin board that way she can print it out and put it onto her um, like little bulletin board pictures of her and her friends and whatnot but she is a very social person and I think she's going to love this. All five of the boys got the same thing from Santa I noticed. I'm not gonna show you them just because it's pretty self-explanatory. They got a massive Nerf gun. They asked Santa specifically for these and it looks like he heard them because that's what they're getting Christmas morning. And last but not least, Adeline. This is part of what she is getting. The rest of it is crap. I don't know where the rest of it is. She is going to be getting a ball pit for Christmas. Another super creative gift because again, what do you get a one-year-old for Christmas? So that wraps up the What I Got My Kids for Christmas video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. I'll have all those links down below along with most of whatever I can find in this haul for you guys. I hope you all have a very safe and Merry Christmas and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our next video. Bye!